Hello everybody and welcome to today's Simply Learn YouTube video on the YouTube channel of Simply Learn. In today's video we are going to be talking about Instagram advertising and Instagram Reels. What is it? What do you need to know about them? What ads are available on Instagram? How can you optimize these ads for maximum performance? And how can you use Instagram Reels to grow your following even further? Now, I am Mark Kempman. I'm your digital navigator for this video. But before we start, if you like this video, click the like button. And if you want to join our learner community on YouTube, subscribe to our channel by clicking on the link below. So, are you ready? Let me start with giving you some interesting Instagram stats that will show you that Instagram has to be part of your digital marketing strategy. Now, Instagram is only 12 years old. It is now the seventh most visited website in the world. Yes, listen to this. It's the seventh most visited website in the world. And it is the um, fourth most used social media platform by monthly active users, 1.22 billion um, users every month. Their ninth, Instagram is ninth on the Google's most search terms list. It's the second most downloaded app in the world on the, uh, the app stores and Instagram is most popular amongst the Gen Z population, Generation Z. Generation X males are the fastest growing demographic. Yep, and that takes Instagram into a B2B, into a business world as well. India has the most number of Instagram users in the world and people spend more time on the Instagram stories than in the Instagram newsfeed, telling you a lot about the importance of stories these days. And Instagram stories ads, they generate about 25% of Instagram's advertising revenue. Now, do you need any more facts to convince you that Instagram is one of the most popular social media networks and that it has to be part of your digital marketing strategy? So let's dive a bit deeper into the Instagram advertising opportunities and the reels that you can use in Instagram. So in this session, we are going to be talking about Instagram ads in digital marketing. Why is it so important? What are the benefits that you can get from Instagram ads? We're then going to look at the different types of Instagram ads that you, that you have available. I'm going to show you some Instagram ad types on Instagram. And I'm also going to show you where on Facebook you can go to create to create the, uh, the Instagram ads. We're then going to dig into the Instagram Reels. Yeah, it's a new feature about two years ago. It is kind of the, um, the, the follow-up from IGTV. It is Instagram's response to TikTok success. Yep, and Instagram Reels are short vertical videos that are very powerful in the, um, and, and used by many people these days. So we're going to dive into these. We're going to see the benefits that you can get as a business for them. And I'm going to show you quickly where to go on Instagram to set up these, uh, these Instagram Reels. I'm then going to give you a few tips on the Instagram Reels and then we're going to close off today's session with some frequently asked questions that I'm getting a lot in the when it comes to Instagram advertising and Instagram Reels. So are you ready for this? Let's get started. Let's look at Instagram ads in digital marketing. So let's talk about Instagram ads and branding first. Why is it so important to use Instagram advertising for your branding? Well, more than 25 billion businesses use Instagram to promote their services and products. Yeah, so when they are all working on developing their brand through Instagram. So 90% of the Instagram accounts, they follow at least one business on Instagram. And 62% of users say that they are more interested in a brand after seeing them in an Instagram story. 
So it's a very important platform for brands to connect with their users. Yeah, and many Instagram users, they actually use Instagram to research new products and services. And most Instagram users, almost more than 80%, they say they take an action after seeing a product on Instagram. Yes, so no surprise that many brands are active on Instagram. Yeah? And on average, you can say that the brands do about one and a half times posting every day. Yeah? So there's no doubt that Instagram should be part of your business. Yeah? It is an effective tool for advertisers to boost brand awareness and increase engagement with their followers and their customers. And it's not only a platform to showcase your brand, but also a channel through which you can interact with your followers and build customer loyalty. And then I'm not even talking yet about the e-commerce opportunities you have on Instagram by opening up a shop, by promoting your products on Instagram. So a platform where you definitely have to be. <clears throat> So it can act as a new channel for your business, which can extend your online presence. And when you are on Instagram, you can promote, you can sell, you can increase sales of your business. Yeah, and you can gain many, many benefits from being on Instagram. And here are just a few of them. So you can keep up with what's happening in the world. So if many people, if everyone, yeah, billions of people are on Instagram, why aren't you? So there is the new Instagram shop feature that can help you and your brand to get more sales. So you can open up a shop on Facebook, you can then connect that shop with your Instagram and you can promote your products. You can tag your products in your Instagram posts and that will lead to sales through your, um, your Facebook and your e-commerce shop. It's fantastic for competitor analysis. What are your competitors doing on Instagram? What are they promoting? What are they advertising? You can learn a lot about what works and what doesn't work in the, uh, the market. Instagram is also a place where you can connect with your customers, where you can deliver customer service. Yeah, so it's not just offline or not just on Twitter, but you can use that on Instagram as well. So. Instagram these days is a very normal, a very basic platform. And it's almost like you're having your website. Customers expect you to be on Instagram as well these days. So if you do that properly, it can help you in getting more customers, growing your online customer base on Instagram, and it can help you in developing your brand to generate more sales and to grow your online reputation. By setting the tone and the style of your posts, you can immediately develop and present an online sort of identity that you can then transfer into your online reputation. Another powerful aspect of that you have with Instagram is that you can work with influencers. Yeah, there's many influencers, many Instagram um, users with large followings they offer their services to brands to help them in promoting their products and services. So that is not enough for you. Finally, yeah, the virality on Instagram is very, very strong. So if you have good content, good posts, good stories, good reels, you can go very high and wide and far through the, uh, the Instagram um, the Instagram world and many people will view your videos and share your videos. So it's a platform you can no longer ignore and you definitely want to be there. So in 2020 a new style of post was created which was called the Instagram Reels which is kind of the follow-up of the IGTV, which was a kind of a vertical video kind of YouTube channel that you could get on, um, on, on Instagram. Now, it is sort of a response of Instagram to the growth of, uh, of TikTok. And creators on Instagram like Justin Bieber, Lizzo, Stanley Tucci, 
they really helped to transform this um, feature uh, from a almost like a TikTok wannabe to a full-blown competitor of TikTok. They are full screen vertical videos that can be up to 90 seconds long. Yeah, they come with many unique editing tools and an extensive library of audio tracks as well. So it's very easy to make these short videos and to start sharing them. And you will see that the views and the engagement that you get with these reels in, in Instagram is extremely high. On top of the sounds, reel can include multiple video clips, filters, captures, and, in a, and interactive backgrounds. So you can add stickers, all the tools that you expect in, in that you see in stories, that you see in TikTok, you see that in the Instagram Reels as well. Now, they're clearly different from Instagram Stories. Yeah, Instagram Story, they did disappear in 24 hours. Once you post a Reel, it is available on Instagram until you delete it. So they are also favored by the Instagram algorithm. Yeah, which is more likely to recommend them to people who don't follow you. Yes, yeah, so it is a very good tool to grow your following. But we'll talk about Reels a little later when we go into the, uh, after we've gone into the advertising on Instagram. So let's look into um, advertising on Instagram. Here are some interesting facts about Instagram advertising. Each month there are 2 million advertisers active on Instagram. Yeah, so that is a big number of people. The estimated advertising reach for Instagram users is 1.32 billion users. Yeah, so there, and that is an important one. The Instagram advertising reach has outpaced Facebook's advertising reach in the last year. So, and did you know, you can reach 22% of the global population age 13 or older in Instagram. So a platform, an advertising platform that you cannot ignore. Yeah, and through Instagram Reels, you can reach another potential audience of close to a billion people. So, an f interesting fact to know is that the split in female and male is about 45 and 55% on the advertising audience for the uh, Instagram Reels. So, how do you create Instagram um, ads? Through the Facebook Advertising Manager. Yep, and we've done a, um, a short or a video about Facebook advertising in the um, in, in, in an earlier video of this series. But um, I'm so I'm not going to go into this. But I do want to show you a, um, a, a new feature in the Facebook and Instagram advertising uh, advertising setup. But before we go into this, let's have a quick look at Instagram and see if we can find some ads. So if I go out of here and I go to um, Instagram, yeah, so here you see my mobile, let's log in and we're going to Instagram. Yeah, so by just by browsing through your newsfeed, you will already come across ads. Yeah, so let's see where we see an ad popping up. So here you see one, yes, yeah, so Sahara Services Official, and because it's an ad, you see it's a sponsored ad. And here you see the type of ad that we see here is a photo ad. Just one photo that they have with a call to action, in this case, visit the Instagram profile. So here you see an ad, yeah, which is again is sponsored, but here you see I can flick through the photo. So this is what we call a carousel ad. Yeah, so there are multiple photos, or in this case videos, so you could also see this as kind of a video ad. But this is a combination of a video ad and a, a carousel ad, where you can flick through multiple photos. 
So what I've done, I've saved a few, um, a few ads. Yeah, that is easier, so I don't have to browse. So if I click here on the saved, and here you see some ads. Yeah, so here you see an example of a photo ad, but multiple photos, and that's why we also call this a carousel ad. Okay, here you see an example of a, another carousel ad. Yeah, so you can see that it's an ad because it says sponsored. Again, multiple photos and a call to action. Yeah, here you have a photo ad where it's just one photo. And here you see another carousel ad with two photos. And here you see a video ad. Yeah, so these are the ads that you see on, uh, in the newsfeed. Besides that, there are ads in the stories. And here at the top, you see the stories. So let's go here, browse through the stories. So here you see, and we immediately see here a sponsored ad from Barcelona Tanja. Yeah, and this is a video ad. Yeah, what I like about the ads on the stories, and that's why they are so powerful, they have a very sort of natural blend with the stories before and after them. They don't really look like ads, and particularly if you're making them full screen vertical ads, yeah, they blend in very well with the, the, with the news feed. Yeah, of the story feed. Yep, so here you see another ad. Yeah, with, uh, as a story. So you can, the call to action, are you looking for the click on the more? Yeah, and then you can have different more information in the ad as well. So very powerful. Yeah, here you see another ad. Okay, so those are your ads on, on, uh, on the stories. And then here you see the reels. Yeah, now, um, yeah, but we'll come back to the reels later. And here in the reels, you will be, will be able to see and to showcase your ads as well. Okay, so that is the, uh, those are the ads on, um, uh, on Instagram. Yeah, so if I summarize this, yeah, if we look at the, uh, the Instagram ads, so the first ads that we saw were the photo or the image ads. Yeah, so particularly for campaigns where there is a very strong visual aspect. Yeah, strong visual information that you can summarize in one single image. They are the best um, for creating image ad. These pictures can be produced using your own photographers or designs or illustrations. Or you can even take an existing post that you can promote or that you can boost as an image ad as well. So very straightforward, very simple, but the image ads are the simplest way of um, creating uh, Instagram ads. Here you have a story ad. So a story ad, multiple visuals that go in a story. Engagement is typically greater with story ads. Yeah, because it sort of gets the entire mobile screen and it's much more engaging than ads in the, uh, in the news feed. Yep, so you see here, there is not really video in there, but it is moving kind of images, moving text, yeah, and audio in this ad from, uh, from Spotify. So story ads are extremely powerful, one of the most popular types of ads in Instagram, and again, very easy to create. You then have the video ads. So if you want to give the viewers a more in-depth look of your brand, your products, your services, then run a video ad on Instagram. So make them short. You can make them square. You can make them full, uh, full sort of vertical, full screen. But the important thing is try to make the content engaging. 
Yep, and that is where video ads are so powerful and they can bring a message across in a very powerful way. Video ads on Instagram, they are probably the ads with the highest conversions yeah, for, um, for people that view the ad and if you want them to take an action. So, yep, so those are the video ads and then you have the Reels ads. So intermix with Reels, you can have 30 second long ads that are sort of comparable to story advertising. So they're full screen vertical videos. And again, they properly merge with the organic reels. Yep, and they have feature, they have sound, they, they feature sound and music. So very powerful ads where you can get very good call to actions, learn more, learn more by now. Yeah, different sort of call to actions that can really lead people to either to drive them to your website or drive them to your shop where they can buy your product. Yep, and then we have the carousel ads. And the carousel ads is what I showed you, where you have a collection of photos or videos that people can swipe through. Yep, so they can uh, particularly they work really well in your Instagram feed and they are really good for showcasing multiple products in your ad. What you also see is that people use carousel ads where they have one large sort of horizontal photo that they split up in three sections. So it is almost like browsing through the photo from left to right. So very powerful ads that you can get on, um, on Google, on Facebook and on Instagram advertising. Okay, now before we go into the reels, let's go to Facebook ads and show you some a new feature on, uh, on the advertising for, the, um, for Instagram advertising. So here you see the Facebook business manager. Yeah, so it is the Meta Business Suite, which is sort of a new integrated platform um, which brings together a number of functions. It used to be the Facebook Business Manager, but they now have brought it all under the Meta Business Suite. So if I go there for my Riyad Farasha page, it takes you to everything you need to do and to plan and to manage and to track of your Facebook or your Instagram account. Yeah, you see here, I man can manage the Facebook page and I can manage the Instagram page. Now, we're not going to go into the whole of the Meta Business Suite. I just want to show you the advertising and a new feature here in advertising. If I click on all tools and then I click here on add. Yeah, so this is kind of a quick creation of ads. I can automate my ads, I can choose a goal for my ads, or I can boost existing content. And I just want to show you how easy it is these days to make an ad for your Instagram. So if I want to boost a post, yeah, or I can get more leads or whatever I want to do, yeah, boost an Instagram post or reel, let's go into that. Yeah, so content type, I'm just gonna do a post for this sake, yeah, so we're going to boost this post. Yep, and then here you will see how the ad will look like in your Instagram feed, in this case. Yep, and that's where you can change the text of your ad. So it's a really good feature to quickly launch an ad of an existing post. Make sure you've got your ad blocker switched off to get access to this. Yeah, you can have other previews as well. Let's see what that will give us. Yeah, so here you see the feed in Instagram Explorer. Here would the Instagram feed. Here would be how it looks in Instagram Stories. Here is how it would look in Instagram Reels. Yeah, so really useful tool to quickly see how your ad will show on Instagram yeah, for an existing post. And then of course you can have the same facilities if you want to create a new post. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna share with you on Facebook and Instagram advertising and how to create your uh, Instagram ads through the Meta Business Suite. 
Right, so let's go back to the presentation and let's look at the Instagram Reels. So, yeah, so where are the Reels in Instagram? If I click here on Instagram and then here is my home, yeah, if I click at the bottom on the little icon here, I can then go to Reels. And this is exactly like TikTok, I can just flick up and that takes me to the next post. Okay, so very useful and very simple way of, um, of creating and sharing content and very popular way. And a lot of people spend time on the reels to find really cool content. Okay, so here I can go to the search and I can search for items. So I can search, for instance, look at marketing how to yeah and here you see books to master marketing which is in a real format so this is how i can then access posts in relation to marketing yeah and um, and other elements yeah books to read yeah so lots of stuff here on the reels that you can use to find content in every topic that you're interested in. Yep, so uh, here is more reels on, on Morocco. Yeah, so very useful tool. Now, how do you create a reel? You click on the plus icon and you basically select here at the bottom post, story, reel or live, you click reel. And then you see the four op five options that you have here for the audio, the length of the video, the speed, yeah, the grid that you want to change, the scale, and there's even a timer. So there's lots of functionality that you can use here in, your, um, in developing your video. Then by pressing the center button, you can start recording the video. Yeah, and there is also opportunities to get, um, take for instance, do little characters dancing on your desk. Yeah, or on your keyboard, you can make them slightly bigger. Yeah, we lost the character, where was he? And now we're recording, we've lost, so oh, here's our character. I can blow him up a bit. Yep, and we then see him dancing on our screen. Yeah, happy with that, stop it, do next. Yeah, I'm gonna not, not add a sticker, here is the video that we've just created. Yeah, I can edit a clip if I want to. I click next and then I can share it to Reels. I can write a caption, I can add stickers and all the standard stuff that you can do on, your, uh, on the Reels. Yeah, so very cool, very like TikTok. And uh, the, the, this, the, the best thing about it, it is so simple to make, it's very intuitive. Okay, so that is a quick introduction of the Reels. So, how do you fit reels into your digital marketing strategy? Let's have a look at that in a bit more, um, in a bit more detail. Yes, yeah, so it is a really good way to give your audience a behind the scenes overview. Yes, yeah, so which works well to get engagement and to get trust on your brand. Yes, yeah, so look at the culture in the company, how you make your product, how hard people work, look at the, uh, the customer services, how they work. It's a really good way to give people a behind the scenes look of the company. And again, to build this brand trust. People really appreciate that. Yeah, so that is one of the things that you can do with Instagram Reels. Another very powerful aspect of Instagram Reels is that you can use it to generate what we call user-generated content. Why not ask your customers or your users to create Reels around a topic that you work on yeah, and share it with, uh, with a hashtag? Yes, so it's a great way for people to getting to know the company, getting to know the products, start using influencers. 
yeah, get competitions going where you do photo contests um, or maybe video contests and you can turn those into reels with the pictures or make them uh, actually let the user share the, the, the reels they created themselves. Yes, so sharing user-generated content is a second big benefit that you can get from using Instagram Reels. Now, Instagram Reels, because they're short, people have short attention span, they're also really good to educate your customers. Yeah, or educate your audience. They're a great way to develop yourself as, a, as an expert in your field by giving your audience value. Yeah, on how to use your products, how to, um, to, uh, to uh, answer questions about your products, yeah, on how to do specific things in, uh, in using your products. So get people to learn around your product and if you make that a recurring type of reel, people will come back for them because they want to learn more about your products. It's also good to see your products in actions. So combined with user-generated content, why not ask your audience, yeah, your customers, to make short reels on how they use your products. Yes, so, but if you want to do it yourself, you can really try to highlight what sets your product apart from your competition. So, yeah, use that to your advantage in using Instagram Reels to highlight your products and to see your products in action. And of course, it goes without saying, if you make it fun, if you make it more personalized, yeah, that is a fantastic way to connect with your audience. Yep, and that is where children work really well, where pets, cats, dogs work really well. Try to get casual. Try to interact with your followers through very sort of emotional, casual content. So, and often what you will see that these type of uh, reels will have very high number of views because people just love to browse through that type of content. Yeah, create your own challenge or create your own trends. Encourage your fans to participate and use a special hashtag to share the content they create yeah, for you. So that's the big benefits that you can get from the reels. Yes, yeah, so use that to your advantage. Good, so let's look at some tips and tricks on Instagram advertising. Now remember, most people watch content on their mobile. Instagram is a mobile app. So make sure that you design your ads with mobile in mind. Make sure that you optimize your ads for mobile. There's nothing worse than seeing a, um, an Instagram story ad with a horizontal video and then black above and below. Yeah, so optimize it for the mobile and mobile is vertical so use that vertical format because the immersion is better but also it's much easier to crop a vertical video to a 4 by 5 aspect ratio or a square ratio than a landscape video. Yes, yeah, so make sure you design your ads for mobile first. Tip 2 let the visuals speak for themselves. Yeah, make your ads less wordy and use font sizes that are optimized. Use color. Yeah, make the use capitals. Make sure that it is optimized for mobile devices. Use big fonts that stand out. Use colors that stand out and let the visuals speak for themselves. Tip three. Yeah, use animations, use motion graphics. It is not just video that you need to have, but animated text, animated things happening on the screen, they are videos as well. So let the screen come to life, either through video or through animation and motion graphics. And of course, very important, keep the branding 
keep the messaging that you have, keep it at the front. Yeah, and in the first three seconds, people will decide if they want to watch the entire ad or continue to scroll. Yeah, so make sure that in the first three sec seconds, you capture people's attention and you've put your branding and your message across. And then, of course, you sound. Yeah, you sound in your ads. So although a lot of uh, the, yeah, the people, they may want to watch it without audio, yeah, make it accessible by people with muted volume. Use trendy soundtracks to engage those who choose to listen to your videos. Yeah, consider using captions as well or text overlays. That's very important. If you have somebody speaking in your ads, yeah, always use captions or overlay of text to make sure that if people have the sound off, that they can still understand what the ad is all about. Right, so that is all on the Instagram ads and the Instagram reels. So let's look at some of the questions that I'm getting yeah, from people when we talk about Instagram Reels and Instagram advertising. So one question I'm getting a lot is, if I do my Reels, yeah, I didn't get much en engagement, what should I do to improve? Yeah, so now first of all, in general, Instagram Reels have a very high engagement. Yes, yeah, so they're probably the part of Instagram with the highest engagement that you will see. And I will show you. Yep. So if I go to my Instagram here on the of my my Riyadh Farasha, let me close this here. Yes. Yeah, so save the draft. Close. Yeah. So I'm going to my Instagram. So this is my profile, and here you see my reels. Now, if I post a video, a normal video. I used to get maybe, I could, I get some views, but nothing like thousands or thousands of views. Yes, yeah, so since we've been using Instagram Reels, yeah, we've now get views and place on our videos here, 1,244. Here is a view, 11,000 views of the video. Yeah, here you see 6,000 views of the video. These were numbers we would never get yeah, on the Instagram news feed or the Instagram stories. So here you see you do get the engagement of, your, um, of the reels on Instagram. Yeah, and it's one of the big reasons is that Instagram favors, the Instagram algorithm favors reels in your um yeah in sharing your content okay so make sure that your video content is up to scratch maybe the music could be improved a really good way is to look at what your competitors are doing yeah and maybe they do things that you're not doing so try to learn from that okay question two how do i choose the right soundtrack for my Instagram Reels? Good question. Yeah, it's very important that you get the right sound for your Instagram Reels. Now, Instagram has a whole library of sounds that you can choose from in creating your, uh, your Reels. Facebook has a huge library of thousands and thousands of sounds that you can download royalty-free and use in your, uh, in your posts, in your ads. Yes, so very important, first of all, is that you look at what's trending in the world yeah, when it comes to picking a soundtrack. Yes, so learn from that. What are the hits at the moment? What are the most popular sound music videos on YouTube? What's the most popular music on, the, on Instagram? Learn from that yep, and then make your decision on what music you want to use in your video. Okay, will Reels get me organic audience or do I need to promote them as well? So the beauty about digital marketing is that you decide 
what you want to do. Yeah, whether you just want organic or whether you want to advertise. Yeah, so just to be clear for everybody, when I say organic audience, it means that if I do a post without any advertising, how many people will see my post, how many people will see my video, my reel, and how many people may like it or share it. Yeah, and we know, and as I said earlier, the reels have a high, a fairly high organic reach from the three areas in Instagram, posts, stories, and reels. Reels gives you the highest organic reach at the moment. But we also know these days, and if you look at some of my other videos that I posted on YouTube on digital marketing, that social media is no longer a free ride. Social media these days is pay to play. Yeah, so if you really want to use Instagram and Instagram Reels to grow your business, to find leads, then you need to combine organic marketing with paid marketing. Yes, yeah, so start looking into what we call the pay-per-click advertising and see how much wider and how much bigger the audience is that you can target. Yep, and then try to invest some money in the pay-per-click advertising and see what results you get. So always good to look into that, have your options open, but the good thing about digital marketing, you decide what you want to do in this case. Okay, and that is it, my, um, my friends, the end of the, uh, the session. Yeah, it's a wrap, as we say. So a short introduction to Instagram advertising and the Instagram Reels. So if you want to know more, of course, check out all the other Instagram uh, courses that, uh, that Simply Learn has on our, uh, on our YouTube channel. If you like the video, please click the like button. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, click on the subscribe button below to join our exciting learners community on YouTube. That's it from me now, and I will see you at the next video. Take care. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.